G'day chaps and welcome back to the classic colonization. Very old game. Um, let me just tell you what's going on. So the Spanish are at war with the Aztecs. So this mounted soldier and this guy here are attacking this city. And this poses quite a big problem for me because if they take it and they will take it, or they'll destroy it, that will free up an enormous amount of cash and the Spanish will then be able to expand quicker than me. So, we're basically going to have to go to war with them. I'm going to have to go to war with them straight away. Uh, we really have no choice. Um, so I'm just waiting for an inbound ship coming in from Europe. There it is, bringing more soldiers. I'm going to equip that ship and then we're going to have to fight the Spanish immediately. And either we throw everything at this colony and we lose and this is the shortest playthrough ever or we win and we carry on there is really no way of telling what's going to happen there really isn't um, I was just thinking by the way in the break why why I like this game so much you see they've just destroyed it there's 7,000 bucks that's a lot um, I'm going to see if I can possibly intercept it before it before it gets in. Um, I was thinking about why I like this game so much. Um, it boils down to two main things really. And the first is that firstly it's completely randomized. So you saw me set the this game up in the last um, episode. I'm just gonna save it just in case. It's not necessarily the most stable of games. Um, I'm going to have to drop this soldier off as close as possible. I'm going to drop that soldier off there and I'm going to send the ship back because these soldiers in that ship need to pick up some horses. So I'll send that ship back to base. Right, we're going to have to capture this cache and start a war. I'm just going to have to. Okay, so we've captured that money. Um, the downside is that we've left our soldiers exposed to attack, which is never wise. You always want to have them either behind a fortress or, um, yeah, so we've been rooted, routed, however you want to say it already. Good news is we've just produced our stockade, which is very good news. Um, I'll go for a warehouse next so we can store more goods. Um, so we need to get these soldiers out of there as soon as possible, really. So I'm going to move them north, and I'm going to take that gold with us. If we can get that gold back to base, and there's no reason we shouldn't be able to. Um, yeah, that's now safe, because we've got it covered by two sets of soldiers. We can now look at buying some proper military hardware. So let's firstly upgrade this soldier. I'll get back to why I like the game in a minute. I just want to make sure we're actually uh, doing this properly. And fortify those soldiers. So I'm going to take my cannon out. And I'm going to try and attack their colony with the cannon. The cannon are uh, very vulnerable in open, open uh, ground. But they are extremely effective at... I'm going to hide this colonist inside just to make sure he doesn't get attacked. They're very effective at taking colonies. Oh good, Spanish soldiers rooted. Ah. Raising the tax rate by 4% in one go is really bad for us. But the alternative is that we embargo all the tools. And we need the tools to trade with the Aztecs. So we're going to have to just swallow it. Oops, what did I do? Uh, I just clicked the wrong button. Ah, oh, sugar. Can I go back and change my mind? So, <laughs> I have to pay 1500 bucks now if I want to uh, undo what I just did. So, I'm going to take the ship out. The ship is now carrying my artillery. I'm going to bring the ship round ready to drop. Uh, let's see if we can. I'm going to 
attack these soldiers to make sure that they... What? That's nuts. That's nonsense. That's some bullshit. Okay. Um, so what that means is that we now have quite a lot of money to play with so I can buy another ship. I'm going to buy... Do I go for a galleon? Which is much bigger. I'll go for a galleon. Galleon's very, very, very powerful. Very strong. And we're going to equip it with more soldiers. Oops. Oh, fuck. I can't see. I just bought some muskets and sold them. Okay. And it's really horses that we need because as soon as soldiers are hurt they lose their horses and this is going to jack the price up very very quickly but it's a necessary evil unfortunately and I might just get another unit of artillery to make sure that our base is safe alright that's all we can get we should have enough tools and trade goods to uh, earn this money back um, these colonists I'm going to get them back Mm, what do I do with them? Get them back into base because they need to pick up some horses before they venture out again. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're safe this turn. So, my idea is to drop these two sets of artillery here on the um, mountains. The mountains give the greatest defensive cover. However, we can't do that until they're covered by soldiers. So we need some mounted soldiers that we can drop. Actually, we have some. Let's activate these guys. So clear orders, move them to the front, let's see. Do we still have their movement? Yes, we do. So we, let's, yes, okay. So we can get them up to the mountains and then we can get our artillery on as well. This means we can start assaulting their base immediately. And then just fingers crossed. This game can be... Oh, look at this. Spanish missionaries denounce heresy of the Dutch. Aztec converts burn the Spanish mission and erect a new Spanish... Aztecs. So the... Uh... Where have they done that? Oh, so in the capital. They've erected a Spanish mission instead of a Dutch one. Um... This Dutchman's going to go back to base. Going to start him trading with the Aztecs, and this is this is where it could all go really wrong, or it could go really well. We're going to have to just attack now. Dutch artillery damage, and this game can be, as I said, it can be just brutally unfair. So sometimes you can do really well, and um, you you fight battles and everything can kind of go your way and sometimes I think it's because it's such an old game um, the 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 fighting uh, dice as it were let's let's just say they would you know the the randomized the randomization of the battle let's put it that way can be just skewed so sometimes you can uh, you can attack and attack and attack ten times in a row and you, you will never win which is just not very balanced, basically. Yeah, because it is an old game, so... You just have to kind of take it in your stride. So, I'm really just trying to attack this uh, colony with artillery only. That's good. We've routed some of their soldiers. And now we've routed some more. Let's see. So we drop some horses in here and then we can turn these two sets of soldiers into mounted dragoons which is good our warehouse is still quite a way away from completion and we don't want to waste the money completing it so I'm just going to drop the horses on the merchantman and I'm going to fall I'm going to actually know I was going to say I'm going to fortify the uh, merchantman in in dock, but 
if we were attacked. Um, sometimes the uh, ship can get damaged because you, you've been attacked in dock. So I'm going to put the goods in the stronger ship, which is the galleon, and then I'll move the galleon out of port. So I could attack now, but that would just be based on a guess that they've got no more soldiers left. Ideally, I really want to just be attacking with my artillery, so I'm going to wait another turn and just keep fingers crossed. It's going okay so far, and it is a it's a total crapshoot as to how these these battles go. So my artillery is getting pummeled. Yeah. Spanish soldiers routed. This is good. I don't know how to. I don't know whether to say routed or routed anymore. Okay, so that's that's not good. We're running out of artillery, so we're going to have to start sending in the. Uh, the normal troops are rooted. I'm going to need to keep them there to cover the artillery. So let's send this down. And they're rooted as well. Excellent. I'll send the ship round to pick up the uh, casualties and bring them back. So in this scenario, what you basically have to do if you've run out of artillery is you, uh, you get your soldiers to... Oh crap. So the Spanish have taken out another Aztec city. They've just taken a lot of money back to base. So that's going to be it's very bad news for me because that means they're going to come back with a ton of resources soon. So we really need to get this colony taken over. And it's just not happening. I'm almost ready to throw the last of my uh, soldiers in, but not yet. I'll wait one more turn. I mean, this is tough. It, we, we have the game on the hardest setting, and on the hardest setting, it, it really is hard. I mean, it's, it's no joke, so... Let's see... So, we're going to have to... I'm going to clear the orders of this guy. We're going to... Put some more horses into the colony. Oops, gonna turn these normal soldiers into mounted dragoons. And I'm gonna turn this colonist into a normal guy. Take his Yeah. Let's take his tools and those trade goods and let's go and try and make some money. Because we need some more money to carry on this, uh, this war effort. Okay, so let's attack with these guys. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's looking good! We did it! Oh, we took it! And this is going to be their base, I believe. So this is a major win. This is, uh, this is a major, major win. And we have also some... These guys here with the red neckties, these are veteran soldiers too, so let's take all of these out. So we've just captured a major colony. Um, so a huge amount of resources. Plus, actually let's keep them doing a schoolhouse. Um, plus reduced... Spain's power. So that was that was a major major win. We're gonna have to take some uh, out because, as you can see here, we're getting a, a production penalty because there aren't enough um, people who support uh, liberty at the moment. So we're gonna have to take one colonist out. That will do. And we have some tools that we can go and sell to the Aztecs as well. So that's good. We're gonna make a schoolhouse so that we can start teaching skills to some of our other colonists. So we we are winning. I think yes. Yes, this is good. This is good. This is this is a good. That was a good start. That was a major win. So it cost us obviously a lot of money. They're gonna ask for peace. 
Um, I'm gonna refuse. Ah, oh, crap. So what I want them to do is basically um, attack us. I want their dragoons to attack our artillery, which I'll place in here. Because if you have dragoons attacking artillery, that's basically the best you can get in terms of um, the chances of winning. So, it's kind of the ideal situation in terms of how we fight this war. And we're going to want to destroy as much of Spain as quickly as possible. Really. Because um, because we've got it on Viceroy, uh, the hardest setting, they will get very, very, very strong very, very quickly. Basically. Um, so we can't afford to uh, let Spain build up even at all. We're going to have to essentially take over the entire area immediately or just get annihilated. <laughs> the setting, I mean, this is old school hard. This isn't just hard, like modern day hard. This is old school hard, as in, screw you, you're going to lose. You know, um, <laughs> old school hard is not like normal hard. It's uh, it's seriously seriously tough. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take some of these veterans. We're gonna turn them into the dragoons. If you're if you have veteran troops, they get um, fighting bonuses. And these troops are on our side now, so. And then we're going to load these tools up onto the merchantmen. They're going to go visit the Aztecs. And we're going to use our ship to transport some of these spare colonists out of this colony. And take them up to the other colony and see if we can find a place for them. Because this colony is basically quite balanced. And we need to wait for the... Uh, that money's just arrived back in Spain. We need to wait for that um, the rebel sentiment. Uh, so Spanish groons have now fortified on our land, which means we're going to have to fight to get them off. So we'll clear the orders of my dragoons, and we're going to have to send them in. Um, it's not ideal. We would really want the uh, dragoons to be attacking us, but we don't really have any choice if they're fortifying like that. Um, I never finished talking about why I like the game, did I? Um, so firstly, it's the randomization. Every playthrough of this game can be completely different. That's another big thing. That's one big thing. The other big thing is that um, is the economic side of this. So as you can see, you really have to make money to support your uh, war efforts, and so it's it's a, it's basically. I guess there's no easy way to define it. It's a it's a trading game, plus a strategy game, plus military, um, and it's just unique in that I've never come across any other kind of game where you have that that um, military aspect, but where the military is dependent on success in in finance and. Um, I don't know, it just really ticks all the boxes for me. Uh, I find it really unique and especially enjoyable because of that. Um, so we have this kind of situation now where we have this spare... These guys are really useful, these carpenters. But we don't really have a place for them because we can't really harvest enough lumber here. So I think we're going to have to go and start a new colony because we have these spare colonists. We can't add any more without producing more of these Liberty Bells in the town hall and getting the uh, desire for freedom up. So um, we're just going to have to raise a bit more money 
and then we're going to have to um, start a new colony. But before we start a new colony, we are going to have to get some more military, uh, get rid of the Spanish a bit more, otherwise we'll lose that colony almost immediately to the Spanish. Right, I, I'm going to carry on with this game. I'm going to see if we can get rid of these... God damn it. These evil Spanish. And, um, yeah. I have no idea if you're enjoying this or not. I'm recording this in one go. I hope you are. Um, I'm certainly enjoying it, and I'll be playing this a lot. Because I do like this game. I will, uh... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now, boys.